do have that decision from the Bank of Canada. So the Bank of Canada is holding its key interest rate at 5%. That matches the estimates that we had seen on Bay Street. So a reminder that the Bank of Canada is keeping its target rate at 5%. And uh, the, uh, the bank itself is uh, uh, seeming to suggest that it is done with rate hikes. Uh, just taking a look at this, so this now is the fourth consecutive meeting that we've seen the policy rate held steady, but uh, the bank uh, explicitly uh, stated for the first time that it won't need to increase that rate again if the economy evolves in line with its forecasts. Um, Tiff Macklem leaving that benchmark overnight rate unchanged 5%, and as we were just saying, that was widely expected. Uh, Don Disher. Dan was talking about that. Economists uh, polled by Bloomberg were expecting that. Bank of Canada officials say the data shows that economic growth has indeed stalled and will remain slow in the near term. In, in their uh, view, that will help bring inflation back to the bank's 2% target next year. I want to read specifically a quote from Tiff Macklin, the Bank of Canada governor. Um, there was a clear consensus to maintain our policy rate at 5%. What came through in the deliberations is that governing council's discussion about future policy is shifting from whether monetary policy is restrictive enough to how long to maintain the current restrictive stance. So maybe that could be interpreted as a so-called um, dovish message to the markets. Um, uh, we have seen, obviously, 475 basis points worth of rate increases in less than two years' time. So that is a consideration for economic weakness. I guess coming into today, the question was, would it be enough to quell inflation? So the door seems open for rate cuts in the coming months. Uh, the uh, governor saying if the economy evolves broadly in line with the projection we published today, I expect future discussions will be about how long we maintain the policy rate at 5%.